Well, hey everyone, welcome back to Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus Freedom Chronicles. Today we are going to be jumping right into the Diaries of Agent Silent Death. And I don't know, we'll find out how this goes. This is obviously going to be a bit more of a uh, stealth chapter, as Silent Death, as we've seen in Episode 0, has the uh, Constrictor Harness as her item and has more silenced weapons than anything else uh, going for. So, let's jump right in. My word. Look at that handsome bloke. OSA secret agent Jack Valiant. Super spy for the British Empire. The Queen's greatest asset. Except for one other. Agent Silent Death. My name is Jessica Valiant. During the war, I helped my husband perform his duties behind the scenes. Inseparable, both on the job and off until... 1946. Jack bought me time to escape. If I'd had a choice, it would have been the other way around. Funny that. After the love of my life was taken away from me, the world submitted to the Nazis, and my faith in humanity crumbled. I fled to Brazil, choosing a life in anonymity. It was a simpler life. A steady flow of fine alcohol and charming strangers served as my medication. Kept me afloat, without purpose or direction. Then one day I received a mysterious folder with the image of a crimson bulldog imprinted on it. Inside were the briefs for three assassination targets. Torture expert Uber Commander Han Stiglitz, Hollywood Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz, and the infamous General Gerhard Dunkel. What I read shook me to the core. The files provided evidence implicating these men as responsible for the betrayal, torture, and murder of my husband. These men had to die. And so I departed for California in the American territories. First on the list was Uber Commander Hans, the man who tortured Jack. I'd spent the past years in a delightful blur of drinking and debauchery, but killing Nazis was like riding a bike. A dozen slit throats later, I found myself inside the Gestapo office in Sacramento, California. From there, I had to find my way to Uber Commander Hans's office at the top floor. All right, so I'm going to say something real quick. It feels like she moves faster. Ooh, knife. Um, I'm going to go up here. It feels like she moves faster than Joe does, which is interesting. Like, you didn't get a lot of variation in movement speed with uh, BJ, even when he was injured. Uh, ha, I knew it was the right answer. Wissen Sie, wie wichtig es ist, dass wir diesen jämmerlichen Aufstand in Kalifornien unterdrücken? Wissen Sie, wie viel Zeit und Mühe über Kommandant Hans in diese Aufgabe gesteckt hat? Wissen Sie, wie ablenkend es ist, wenn jemand einem im Nacken sitzt? Zeigen Sie Respekt, Mann! Jawohl, tut mir leid. Er kommt nicht wieder vor. Nächstes Mal schaue ich weg. Er hat eine sehr ästhetische Tapete in seinem Büro. Die schaue ich mir an. Männer, ich bin in meinem Büro und bereite wichtige Dokumente für General Dunkel vor. Achten Sie auf verdächtige terroristische Aktivitäten. Und bringt mir bitte eine Tasse Tee und ein Schinkenbrötchen. Heil Hitler. Uber Commander Hans was my first hit in years. Felt like a stiff drink to take the edge off, but I had to stay focused. So I don't know if I get the other benefits of the Constrictor Harness here. Well, that's not a benefit, but that was pretty kind of fucking good. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Which would, uh, in this case, be slow down when people see me, 
and of course uh, not having to crouch walk everywhere but I don't want to find out you know the hard way all right so those two down I wonder if I can go downstairs and uh, crawl into that room and get those other two guys that I saw. I think there's going to be a bit more tactics to uh, how I play this versus how I played Joe's chapters. In theory, most likely I'm going to go kind of all out again. I almost didn't see him. There we go. Thank God he was distracted by whatever the fuck he's looking at. And while we're here... Good, ammo. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna really want it. And it looks like I can overcharge, which is good. Excellent. Yeah, gold. It's going real well. Just picking up basically everything I can because I know I'm gonna screw up. Let's see here. It doesn't look like we have anything special going on with uh, either of our weapons right now. We're going to have to pick up upgrades. Although, it's very possible that Agent Silent Death doesn't get any upgrades. I'll tell you what, though. Having throwing weapons that are actually throwing weapons, I'm not going to complain. Uh. Hi, puppy. Hello, dog. Let's see if we can find a better path. Just trying to avoid uh, getting caught too early on in this. Now one of the things I didn't do a ton of in the main game is... Uh... Oh boy, I wonder how this is going to work. Yeah. We want to go back to over here. Is using the pistol as a way to distract people. Which is definitely something you can do. That's painful to watch. All right. It was definitely a, an option, but I usually ended up doing it by mistake. Crawling through those vents, I did regret one thing. Not diving into the hotel minibar the night before. So yes, I do get the slowdown effect, which is good. That is good, solid information. Mm -hmm. 
No, we're cool. Oh, puppy. Oh. Well, I'm already wanted. I just got here, damn. All right, let's see. Could it be that this is a trap? I'm sure we'll find out that that is exactly the case in, well, let's say an episode. Or the end of this one, who knows? Just the way these are written, and I'm not gonna complain about this because these are definitely done in that comic book, you know, sort of 1940s serial format which I think is a pretty good fit for this game and the setting and everything else. So I'm not, like I said, not gonna complain about that. I thought I saw a shiny thing. Maybe I'm just dumb. Yeah. Is that Anya and Super Special? Interesting. This is a weird room. Like, almost every room in this game always has a purpose. And, uh, I can't see anything in there that's suggesting that any of this has a purpose. My best guess, to be honest with you, is that I'm gonna need to come back through that way after a time. How about that? That was a long time between start and commander, to be honest with you. Kind of surprised by it. Thank God he's stupid. I guess I could have got him through there, huh? Oh, hi. That was dumb. We got here. Oh, extended mag. I'm sitting here going like, ah, that's a weird way to introduce the magnum ammo. Will we actually need it? And then, you know, 20 bullets instead of 40 or 10, which I can appreciate. Good. Here we go. <laughs> Letters. Maxed out on knives. And armor at 40. Interesting. Maxed out at 40. I thought I'd seen that earlier. But once again, this is supposed to be a stealth thing. Oh, hey, can. Nope, can't throw it. Darn. If this is meant to be a... the stealth version. Oof. Man, that's a pretty generous timer. I feel like that should be explodable. Ooh. Found the armory. That's good news. What we got? Whatever. That's good. If I'm in a panic situation, that will be helpful. All right. Yes, I can go into the bathroom. It looked like you could do this. No. Last one? Nothing. I figured if you could, you probably had to. Man, okay, they really... They really did a number on how you navigate this whole thing. I think is interesting and good. Like, the fact that you can knock out all these grates and get around the level is pretty positive development. Let me just do that. Hey, screw it, let's go over here too. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. I really... Uh-oh. Don't... Don't get caught. Good ammo. 
I was about to have like a moment of panic, like, oh, how far back do I have to go to get this to work right now? Damn, can't crawl under there. It's good to know what you can and can't crawl underneath. I feel like, uh... From drunken midnight beach walks in Sao Paulo to skulking through Nazi Tossa Central, I wondered if I was up to par after all these years. That makes it sound like a fight's coming. I don't like how he phrased that. Like, he made it seem like, uh, this might be a setup. Because this might be a setup. Thank God Nazis are fucking blind or something. Alright. Man, she's got a problem with people's testicles. Alright, there was one more guy that I saw at least. It's right over here. Good, dead. Why can't I hear a big guy? Sell it a little more. Is that a big dog? Sounds like someone bouncing a metal basketball. Must be on the third level. Hear a conversation. Oh God, this is hot dish. My shitty aim and also tactics. Man, my shitty tactics. I should not be getting that close to getting caught that often. I'm being fairly careful for me. I'm still in that fucking Joe mindset, I think. All right. Let's see. That's a cool feature. Like, there are certain things that... Eh, fucking dude. Oh, boy. I'm not here. Tell me that's not neat. I wonder if you can, like, stealth kill him. Because, uh, you're definitely gonna get something exploded if you try to take him out, so. Right. I think I've moved fast enough that he's not behind me. Oh. 
Ooh. Totally silent, even. Um. Shit. It's a good fucking thing I took him out the way I did. I'm fairly certain I want no part of these guys going alive when I walked in here. But. Our objective's dead. You know, all right, now I want to find out how I was supposed to get in here. Ah, why not? Yeah, that makes more sense. That was kind of the brute force way, wasn't it? Oh, well. Like, if it works, it works. Really going to criticize me on that one? All right, let's get out of here now. It makes me feel like there's something I should be doing with this person. Anyways, next level. And so another Nazi bellend had been sent to hell. Good riddance, Uber Commander Hans. I could feel the tug of war inside, a craving to escape this dreadful reality. But I couldn't. Not until each and every one of these Nazis was six feet under. Until my Jack was avenged. Next up, the man who betrayed Jack. Actor, filmmaker, and Nazi collaborator Chuck Lorenz. Once an undercover agent for the OSA, now a stooge for the Reich. Like so many American traitors, that snake was generously rewarded for collaborating with the Nazis and had been promoted to head producer of American propaganda. Lorenz was now a powerful man with powerful friends. While well, this powerful man was about to have a rendezvous with Agent Silent Death. So this was Paragon Studios, mouthpiece for Nazi America doling out rubbish propaganda to the masses. Hmm. I did not expect it to jump right into the next episode. But I will see everyone in the next episode. Bye.